In September 1939, the German Reich and Soviet Union invaded Poland, launching the Second World War. The invasion led to staggering loss of life. Throughout the war, nearly 6 million Polish citizens, 3 million of them Jews, perished. In occupied Poland, the Germans introduced capital punishment for every form of assistance to the Jewish population. Vincente and Lucia Baranek from Siedliska near Miechu, along with their sons Henrik and Tadeusz, were murdered by German state officials on 15th March 1943 for helping Jews. The public execution was part of broader effort to catch Jews fleeing the Holocaust and to intimidate local communities. The number of victims of the action should also include the men of the Gottfried family who found shelter with the Baranek's and Vincent's stepmother, Katarzyna. We can reconstruct the story of the murder of the Baranek family thanks to the documentation of the investigation conducted in the case in the 1970s by the District Commission for the Investigation of Nazi Crimes in Krakow. Based on the files, we know that on 15th March 1943, at around 5 o'clock in the morning, a detachment consisting mostly of members of the Zonderdienst, German Auxiliary Police, arrived at the Baranek family farm. They were probably commanded by a German police officer. Members of the village, including the village mayor, were also forced to participate and were ordered to conduct a search at the Baranek farm. According to Bronisław Badziur, who participated in the action, at one point the policeman noticed that a piece of wall was missing right under the roof of the pig pen and the place was cluttered with planks. He instructed one of his subordinates to remove the plank and look inside. After the plank was removed, it was discovered that there were a hidden between house and pig pen used to house Jews. The Germans immediately murdered the men and then shot Vincente Baranek and his wife Uzia in their own bar. The sons were also murdered there. While being led to their death, teenage Henry and Tadeusz held hands. At the sight of the young boys led away and shaking with fear, a cry went up among the assembled villagers. According to witnesses, the sons of Vincente and Wuzia were ordered to kneel down and were killed with shots to the back of the head. The murdered boys were only 12 and 10 years old. After the execution, the Germans told the assembled residents that they had 24 hours to deliver Vincente's stepmother, Katarzyna, whom they had failed to find that day, to their post in Miehu. The punishment for not delivering the woman was to be the execution of several dozen villagers. Probably because of this, the terrorized members of the local community soon handed over the last victim to the German occupation authorities. According to historians, not all of the Gottfried family members in hiding were found during the manhunt. Most likely, one of them was outside the village at the time of the action. The Germans ordered to bury the Jews near the barn. They allowed the Baranek family to be buried in Miechów's parish cemetery, but forbade any funeral ceremonies. Why did German policemen launch a ride on the Baranek farm on 15 March 1943? According to historian Krystyna Samsonowska, Vincente Baranek decided to hide the Gottfried family, a father along with several sons, tailors, at the request of a home army soldier and Miehów count employee, Bronisław Falenski. Most likely, he was engaged in procuring fake documents for the Jews. He would also help some of them to find shelter, which was probably the case of the Gottfrieds. According to Samsonovska, it is possible that Falenski may have been responsible for the action at the Baranek farm. After his arrest and brutal interrogation, he could have denounced the Baraneks as people who harbored Jews. Perhaps he was trying to save his own life in this way and broke under torture during the interrogation. It should be noted that Falenski himself was denounced by a Jewish woman named Maria Bochner to whom he was supposed to provide false documents. On the other hand, however, it cannot be ruled out that the manhunt 
was caused by someone else's denunciation. According to some witnesses, the Gottfrieds were not careful enough, such as using noisy sewing machines at night. Do we know why the Baranaks decided to harbor Jewish refugees? The answer to this question is very difficult. One witness to those dramatic events recalled that Vincente helped, not out of courage, but out of piety, and added that he was indeed afraid. It seems that he received a lot of support from his wife Wutsia, whose neighbors said was enlightened and an exemplary housekeeper. According to villager testimonies, the young boys, Henrik and Tadeusz, were also involved in helping. In 2012, the Yad Vashem Institute in Jerusalem honored the Baranek family with the title of Righteous Among the Nations. Historians estimate that during the Second World War, Poles rescued tens of thousands of their fellow citizens of Jewish origin. The German occupiers killed about 1,000 Polish rescuers. Thank you.